taking a look at installing the uh, pedal assist sensor and magnet strip. Um, we are going to take a look at the spacing here. Now this is cut out for most regular square tapered bottom brackets, in which case you're going to find that it fits on quite easily. Uh, most times there's enough space in between the pedal arm and the bottom bracket that this will move freely. So once we've kind of uh, established that we have the right sized um, uh, spacing here, um, we can go ahead and adjust that. Um, now, for whatever reason that the bottom bracket uh, spindle is too big, um, you can use uh, some pair cutters or a Dremel tool to remove some of these splines here. And then uh, again, if uh, in some extreme cases, you may have to cut completely around here. But the idea is to secure this to the pedal arm or the um, axle that it spins on so that this will rotate freely when you're uh, spinning the pedals um, so that it will uh, rotate around in the right direction. So now I've taken a close look here, working surface that's going on the inside of the uh, system. We're going to make sure that the magnet strips sit in the right direction, which is most important so that when we install the sensor uh, that it'll sit flush um, parallel to the rotating crank. So now in this particular case I noticed that there is a little bit of a space issue here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, explore the down tube option here where I will remove the tabs and I will place a, uh, the 3M tape on the back of this sensor here um, because I want to get it as close there just for a spacing issue. Um, basically I'm just going to do a little modification here. So what I'll do is I'm just going to remove the back plate here, um, remove the 3M tape, stick it to the very back of the uh, sensor itself and attach that to the down tube and then secure it with a zip tie. We are going to remove this plate. Now I'm going to use the screw to remove the tape, which we're going to reuse. onto the back. So I'm just going to grab a side pair of side cutters here. And what that's going to do, we're going to use it to remove these two tabs here and here. So now that will sit flush on the down tube. I'm going to reapply the 3M tape to the back of the sensor. Remove the cover. At which point we will attach it to the frame on the down tube. That should stick in place there. Apply some pressure. Because this down tube is a little bit wider than the zap strap, I've taken two zap straps, fed one into the other so that it can secure the sensor as a secondary anchor. Perfect. Looking great.